Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. So, have you ever wondered about having a WhatsApp client for your computer, especially for Linux? So, today I will share a very cool project or application to you guys called WhatsApp. And it is described as a simple and beautiful desktop client for WhatsApp web. And it is uh, available on OS X, Windows and Linux. So uh, note, that, uh, note that this is not an official app so there is no application with WhatsApp or Facebook and it's developed by a guy named Alluxion and it is open source guys. You can look at the license here. It is using a MIT license. You are uh, permission you're permitted to uh, free of charge to any person obtaining a copy and do uh, you have uh, no limitation to, uh, to use copy modify merge but please distribute sub license or sell and copies this per uh, this application this software so it's rather new it's just been uh, available for uh, four or five months ago and all the installation guide on step by step installation how to is uh, is a very good uh, very well documented on the github page and if you are using Ars Linux or Manjaro then you can follow my guide uh, you can use Yaward, you can use Packer or manually build it uh, by the MacPKG but I'm just gonna use Yaward so the command will be Yaward as what's a and just follow the guide and there is a problem uh, that you need to know that there, if you installed it without editing the pack PKG build you will notice that it will show you some warning about uh, your permissions in your file system it is different from the packages so uh, to do that you can edit the pkg build here mm, by adding something like chmode uh, recursive and 755 and pkg dir slash uh, like this or you can just ignore it and uh, change the permission after that so the files are inside your opt so you can uh, sudo ch mode uh, just like before oh, sorry uh, like this 755 and opt what's a like this and then you are good to go all right so uh, this is how the application looks like so after you install it for the first time then you will need to uh, scan for the QR code in your uh, whatsapp uh, in your smartphone using your smartphone that has whatsapp installed and uh, configured inside so it's using the same account as uh, the whatsapp you're using on your smartphone so it's synchronized so uh, everything uh, shown in here will be shown in your smartphone too and whatever you uh, whatever you send in your smartphone will be sent uh, will be seen in here too and everything is working quite good i can change my status uh, inside here i tried it and it's working my username can also be changed and then I can chat without any problem and the dim support there are a lot of dims to for you to choose from and you also got zoom in and zoom out or reset zoom functions and you can also toggle first full, full screen by F11 and uh, toggle the menu bar by alt Control B, toggle developer tools like this. You can uh, look at the HTML codes, and everything is looking pretty good. 
But you know that uh, Illusion also mentioned that this work, this application is still uh, in beta state, so expect uh, something is not working or bugs happening. But as far as I'm using it, uh, not that long though. I just tried to use it uh, not long ago and. Uh, I haven't encountered any problem yet and everything is working like it should I haven't tried sending files though but sending messages are working so I think that's cover it all and please uh, like this video if you like this and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next video have a nice day guys